It's Splat Time! It's going to be a very long day. Today, a dozen death-defying daredevils of Splatterlot will go head-to-head -head with the defiant defenders as they strive to capture the highly coveted crown of Splatterlot. Will the defenders be able to keep the castle safe from the attackers, preserve the kingdom of Splatterlot, and in the end reign victorious? I just look at them and they fall off. I'm just that good, guys. Who will tumble? Who will tilt? Who will teeter? And who will go? I'm Dick, he's Dom, and welcome to Splatterlot, the modern medieval game show. Oh, yes, a modern and medieval game show. What a combination. That's like sausage flavoured ice cream. Oh. No, no, it's a modern, fast paced, high energy tournament challenging 12 young warriors to compete over three rounds in an awesome medieval setting for the right to wear the Splatterlot crown. Is it nice? Love the. Here's what that medieval setting looks like in more detail. Round one will challenge all 12 attackers to cross the Splatterlot moat. Only the fastest six will make it through to the stockade. And only four will emerge to compete in the majestic medieval final for that all-important crown. And that's what's coming up. And today's sausage way with ice cream on the show. Oh, uh, we've just got a little bit of ice cream. Just, uh, I'll just... Quick. There we are. Got it. <laughs> oh, oh. Here's what we want, and what do you know? We begin with the battle balls. Why does the word spiky spring to mind? It's then up the slippery slope to the terrifying rolling mace, which is also the perfect location to get splatted by the splatzooka. Then the impossible incline leads to the beastly battle axes. It's also impossibly beastly. Ooh, and to finish off, we have the water cannon, the rope bridge of disaster, and the heedus helper. Other obstacles come in the form of the defenders. They have pretty much one job to do, to make the lives of the attackers as difficult as possible. Trouble is, they really enjoy their job. Defending the moat is Splatterlot's golden boy, Gildar. The shady blue ninja, Shaden. And Thorn. I'm going to be the thorn in your side. Welcome to Splatterlot. Watch your step. And your face. That's quite a combination, and if Gildar isn't distracted by his mirror, then the attackers might be in trouble. And here's our first brave attacker, Connor. Let's go! Yes, well said. Let's go. Oh, oh. Welcome to your worst nightmare. Yes, those battle balls will probably keep Connor awake for some time. For those of you flipping through the channels looking for some quality Viking programming, your prayers have just been answered. Oh, love him or hate him, you can't deny that Gildar is a master when it comes to that Splatzooka. And Connor is literally swept off his feet. Ooh, Splat! Huh? You better hurry up, Connor, or Gildar here is going to make sure you're a goner. Come on, then, show us what you're made of. Four now taunting Connor, and he's down. Ooh, the defender's shooting from the mouth as well as the Splatzooka. Connor sprinting down the incline and, and flying on it to Splutty. Yes, he simply failed to put on the brakes. But it's nice and warm in there. Connor, have you ever seen a better looking Viking than me? Does Gildar seriously expect Connor to answer that? It's not exactly the best time, is it? Oh, to Splangle! Oh, you chalk that up to Gildar or the battle axes. Well, Gildar takes the credit for everything, but Connor should be thanked for another top wang wang. He's up against the last defender. Witness the wrath of Shaden. And Connor witnesses firsthand the wrath of the rope bridge. He's made it to the Hina's helper. Up. And with one last splat, he's over. Connor makes it in 721 and sets the pace for the rest. There's a battle cry, says it all, really. Ah, nothing I enjoy more than a sophisticated, intelligent, and witty war cry. What's your name? Sebastian. What's your war cry? Ah! Gildar is really dishing it out today. I put down the... Oh, Wigan! Throw it at me. I dare you to throw it at me. This could end in tears. Oh, Sploot! You feel like a big man now, Sebastian? Oh, Gildar splats Sebastian again. Uh-huh. And yes, he's in the Thank moat. You. So here's how not to win Splatlot. You splat the defender, he splats back, and you go fatty umbridge. It gets worse because Gildar tends to hold a grudge, and Sebastian is taking some serious splats out there. That's what happens when you throw it at Vikings. Gildar's in a fiery mood today, and Sebastian is feeling the heat on the mace. He tries to hold on, but that old mace just keeps rolling along. Paul now opens with his vaporizer. And Sebastian is stretched to the limit on the battle axes. He doesn't get his timing right, and once more he's bum chuffed. Yeah. Dance it up, Sebastian. Dance it up. Yeah. He's dancing because he's finished and is eight seconds faster than Connor. Next is Sean. 
Another intense battle cry there, and here are the intense battle balls. Oh, they're proving to be quite a handful and a faceful, a whole body full. <laughs> What's wrong with the youth of today? That they can't express themselves through words. Oh, you know, when I was pillaging villages in my youth, we had the decency to not just yell at people, yeah, but to yeah, say, they... hey, we're pillaging and plundering your oh. village. Who does he think he is? Oh, I'm gonna pillage and plunder your village. That's not how it works. You don't plunder a Viking. I do the plundering. Well, after that history lesson from Gildar, Sean gets an education in mace rolling. See? Told you. You think you're worthy of our crown? Try and get past me. Okay, here he goes, and putang! He really loves this course. He plants a kiss on the platform before finishing in six minutes three. Great defending, everyone. Really good job. Let's get it done! Like it. Here's Nikita getting it done. Mm, is that the way to get things done? Oh, Nesbit burns. <laughs> Nikita, hello. Oh, goodbye. You don't want to talk? We don't have to talk? Well, it's actually goodbye from Nikita. She's fine, but she's decided she can't finish the course. Ow, ow! The battle cries have been a little bit off the wall today, and Madison's is no exception. Ow, ow! And what's this? Gildar's Pratzooka is jammed! This doesn't work anymore. This doesn't work! If nothing goes to plan, improvise. And Madison takes Thorne's advice by dashing across the mace. Oh, no, she's fallen. Brezhnev! This course is hard enough, even without Gildar. How do you work this thing? Press the big shiny button, Gildar. Gildar still struggling, and so is Madison. This time on the incline, Patata Swat. A happy dance. That's great. You call it a dance? Yeah. Madison is a fossil so far. See what happens when I leave you two to defend the castle. Mummy! Oh, Carl shouting for his mummy. Is that a good thing? Kyle, what's your favorite Gildar pose? This one? You like this one? It's one of my favorites. A striking pose there from oh. Gildar. It is amazing. Thank you. See? I told you he's a fan. Wow, look at this. Kyle is a fan of the mace, and he's the first one over today. A fantastic dive at the end to finish the movie style. Hey, hey, leave this guy alone. He is a very big fan of Gildar. Now, I don't think Gildar should be picking favorites. How do you get that ball that quick? Gildar comes to his senses and tries to spot Kyle. Kyle is down! I just look at them and they fall off. I'm just that good, guys. I'm proud of you, Kyle. When Gildar's your role model, you whip through this course. That's my boy. Does Gildar realise he just let Carl through in the fastest time so far? I think Carl would have been too fast anyway. He leaves with 2.01, but Connor's 7.21 is the time to beat. Well, I think we've seen every side of the defenders today, especially Gildar. Yeah, we're only halfway through round one. Yes, something tells me the second half will be just as juicy and splooshy, splatty and splatty. Time for a little swim, is it? Now, here's a review of the first half in five seconds. Hi, I'm Gildar. I got lovely hair. Oh, I'm a Viking. Not much Blad Zucker's jam. Kyle's my favorite. And that was the first half in five seconds. Now we start eliminating attackers. Yes, only the six fastest will survive. And with six more to come, it's all still to play for. Yes, Carl is on top with 201, but Connor has that time to beat of 721. But now it's time to get back to the matter in hand. I will be alone. Mm, will you now? Charlie kicks off the second half in style, cloth ears. The battle balls are proved tricky today. Ooh, gee. So let's see how Charlie deals with Gildar. You don't know by now, I am the mighty modern-day Viking Gildar. Understated as ever. And Charlie heads for the moat. Charlie's into snowboarding, but riding a rolling mace is not quite the same thing. Will he be any more balanced on the battle axes? So far, so good. Oh, but maybe that blast from Thorn distracted him. Another splat for Charlie. You're my problem now, Charlie. Bring it on. The problem with being Shaden's problem is that her solution often ends in a splat, just like that. Beaten by a lady. How does it feel? Well, he's feeling fine because currently with a time of 4.35, he is through. Two more rounds, Charlie. Oh, God! Excellent. Another full-on battle cry. Oh, no pleasantries from Gildar this time. Just a good old splat to break the ice. Actually, Gildar didn't quite hit him, but it was enough to put Samuel off his stride and down that slippery slope. Samuel tries the maze. Oh, no, no, he's tripped. Oh. And that's a trip he won't enjoy. Maybe that's because he flew with rolling mace airways. Look. Didn't mean that kind of trip. I know. 
Sam's now on the rope bridge. But not for long. Oh, yes, it's a shower from Shaden and a bath in the semolina. You know, that water ain't free. If you drink any more of it, we might have to start running up a tab. Thor is just frustrated because Samuel's put in a great time. Which knocks out Connor. Let's go! He's almost too ready for the Croydon. The Battle Balls once again put a dampener on things, especially Keisha, who is now slightly more than damp. Keisha is now taking a more cautious approach up the slope. Run, Corn! You're welcome, Keisha. No, no, no need to say thank you. Keisha needs to speed up, but she takes a top. Oh, wet dogs! The Mace once more taking his top. It's been throwing attackers round like rug dolls today. Well, I didn't understand it, but I like Harleen's energy. Harleen, please, I get very impatient. Got a lot to do. Once more, Gildar opens his mouth and opens fire, and a grubby swan dive. And Harley, like so many others, finds the Maces in a foul mood today. There goes another splat. Sorry about that. Will she get on with the impossible incline? No, it's impossible. Time for a little swim, is it? Sadly, Harleen will also find it impossible to qualify, as that time is too slow. Sorry, dear. <laughs> Moose! Sydney's battle cry is the first animal impression of the day. Trouble is, the Viking hunter is just around the corner. Oh, Bradford! Oh, that's a quadruple splat from Gilda. Four Bradfords! Oh. And Sydney is still in his sights on the main. Soggy doilies! This time a single splat to the knee brings Sydney crashing down, and it's another splat from Gilda. Now, let's see if the Sydney moose can make a safe crossing over the battle axes. Yes, you can. Shh, you're startler. Well, you lose the silly antlers. Now, will Shaden hunt Sydney down? You picked the wrong day to try to pass and splat along. Well, despite Shaden's effort, Sydney finishes in a very good time of 5.02. That time knocks out Sebastian. A uh, clever little battle cry from Michaela, but it's slightly drowned out by all that water. He's looking good on the battle balls. Bond balls! Once again, they catch out another attacker. Oh, but wait, she's recovered. Come on, Michaela. We haven't seen anyone cross the battle balls today. Oh, ranks in flump. We still haven't. Bad luck, Michaela. Time for Michaela to meet Gilda now. Hey, you shooting at me? Yeah, I'm shooting at you. I got a castle to defend. No, I'm burning it down. Michaela with some back check there. But she's down. She's up. She's down. She's getting it down. <laughs> You got it down. What are you doing? I'm getting it down. Michaela gets on down to the battle axes. Look at me. And despite Thorn, she's made it. The good old fog of war. Michaela's almost over. These two monkeys might let you pass, but I will not. Shaden gives Michaela a soaking down and a dressing down. And Michaela takes quite a splatting, but she won't mind, as that's a great time, and she's definitely through. Next time, you're mine. So that's the end of round one. Let's see who's through. Our top six are Kyle, Michaela, Samuel, Charlie, Madison, and Sydney Moose. Sorry, Sydney. So that round was all about speed. The next round is more complicated. Yes, because it's time for the tricky splatty stockade. And then there were six. So who do you think we should be looking out for? <clears throat> well, Carl was the fastest, but remember, Gildar seemed to take a shine to him and seemed to give him an easy ride, so maybe he hasn't been tested yet. Yeah, maybe. And uh, Madison also benefited from that faulty splat zooka, mm. and who can forget Sydney and her moose impression. <laughs> so here's how they stand after round one. Kyle, Michaela, Samuel, Charlie, Madison and... Sydney Moose! Do you have to keep doing that? Yes. Good. Time for round two now. All the attackers start from scratch, so it's still anyone's tournament. To escape the stockade, the attackers have to cross the giant hexagon and leap onto the smaller ones. From there, they can reach up and grab the ladder rungs required to build their ladders. All this time, the stockade will be filling up with foam and water. Once their ladders are complete, the attackers then have to grab one of four flags before making their escape. Yes, people, there are only four flags, so two attackers are not going to make it out of there. And just to add to the tension, three fresh and fearsome defenders will be keeping guard. Here's our reptilian rogue, Crocmiss. The name's Kookaburra. <laughs> and finally... Tinkor. <laughs> so we just moments to go. Here's how the attackers line up. Samuel's in tangerine, Kyle's in stripy blue. Michaela's bought an orange stripe, Madison's got purple, Sydney's gone green, and Charlie's in Satsuma. Well, they'll all be foam coloured in a minute, and they're off! Coop starts with an early back splat on Sam. Ooh, Kyle with an impressive leap. Krog there's kicking off with a slime stick. And Michaela also nails her landing. Coop throws yet another grew grenade, and oh, Charlie splatted! Madison also lands successfully, and it's hard to tell, but someone has a wrong! You know, Tink, this is like that time I let my hamsters in with my goldfish. 
just chaos. Chaos indeed, but it's definitely Michaela with the right hand. Oh, you think this is madness, do you? Says a half crocodile, half human with a spatzooka. Well, there's method in it. I think Tinkor agrees. Sydney now, leaping like a, like a moose. Will you stop it? You're putting her off. Crocness now with Sam in her sights. Oh, Skegness, that's his second back splat in this round. He's getting Snoopy out there, but Sam has his first run. The slime works as a conditioner too, you guys, so if you just want to line up. I think Coop's actually trying to sell the slime. Roll up, get your slime over here, ladies and gentlemen. If you want some slime, now's the time to get it, hey? Warm slime, blue slime, in your face. <laughs> Teamwork. Yeah, how you like them apples? Now, this phone may look all snowy and wintry, but our snowboarder Charlie is struggling to get to grips with it. Baboon! And he's not the only one. Everyone's slipping out there. There goes Sydney, who leaps straight into Sam. It's survival of the splattest. Excuse me, mate. Who called Pally and then all slimy with Madison, but she gets another rung in. Oh, look at that, Sam's leaping well, and here's Michaela almost leaping straight into the camera. A splattacular close up there. Who is next on Coop's slime list? It's Sydney. <laughs> shower time, eh? <laughs> I wonder if Tinkle's ever had a shower. Having fun now, ladies and gentlemen, hey? Guys, come on. It's not a playground. Kyle there trying to slide his way to victory. Open your mouth, buddy. <laughs> oh, he's now completing his ladder, but Kook isn't making it easy for him. <laughs> Kyle grabs the first of the flags. Up you get, buddy. Despite Kookaburra, he keeps climbing, pushing through that slime, and he's the first attacker through to the final. Sam now makes a move for the second flag, and he's got it. May as well take the whole bucket. Michaela is slime, while Madison, unnoticed, completes her ladder. Sam also has a trouble-free climb to the top. Michaela's also up, but she's forgotten to grab a flag. Madison hasn't, and she's now on her way to the final. Kayla realises her mistake, but can she get the last flag before anyone else? Confirmation that Madison is through! Come on, Michaela! I think she wants the flag! Flag, flag! Don't let her get it! But she has got it! And heads back to her ladder for the second time! Too precious! Charlie is still adding his last rung, but it's too late! Michaela has made it! <laughs> and that means Charlie and Sydney are out. A valiant effort, but their journey is over. So the finalists are Kyle, Madison, Michaela and Samuel. The Stone Roses. Another great contest in the stockade. No thanks, we've just had one. It wasn't our friend. We started with 12, whittled them down to six and now there are four. And this is what they'll be facing. The Splatfest that is the grand finale. Welcome to Splatala. <laughs> Splat time. Why don't we just take a moment to celebrate some classic splats. And then there were four. We have our finalists. Kyle was Gilda's favourite in the moat challenge, so we weren't sure how good he really was. Yeah, but that win in the stockade is like a, a splat in the face for his critics. Of course, the other attackers have also shown their strengths. Uh, although Michaela almost paid the price when she forgot to grab a flag. What is the price, sir, uh, if you forget to grab a flag these days? The crown awaits, but who will be wearing it? So here's the lineup: Kyle, Madison, Michaela, and Samuel versus Shade and Gildar Thorn, Kook, Tinkor, and Crockness. I think it's going to be a splattle royale today. Jazzy. Here's the cause in all its majestic glory. The attackers start with a pole drop into a mud bath, then slide over the slippy slides to face the terrifying teeter totters. Then it's over the barrier into the lily pad moat, where the splatzooka and lethal launcher await. And finally, up the water wall, where the much treasured splatterlock crown resides. Splat them to the ground. Defend the crown. Splat them to, to the, the ground. Well, the Defend defenders the doing their best to put the attackers off. Here's how the attackers line up. Sam's in the tangerine, Carl's in the blue, Michaela's in the light blue, and Madison's in the purple. This could get splatty. We all hope so. And they're off and down into the muddy baths. Sam and Kyle are past Shaden and up over the slippy slides. So to yes. Michaela and Madison, so it's a good start. On to uh -oh. the teasers. But this is where it all gets tricky. He'll be first in. That 
On it goes to Sam, who provides the first big spot of the final. Nice one. Oh, look, but look who's taking the lead. It's Kyle. He's on the barrier of all barriers. Michaela's almost across too. But no, she's down. Kyle leaps like a frog onto the lily pad, and that kick starts Storm with a vaporizer. Defense! Michaela is in second place, but the barrier is proving too much for her. Ready? On my watch. One, two, and three! Yes! Yeah! Welcome to Splatala! And Kyle learns the hard way that being first is not always the best place to be. Dundee! There's another back splat for Kyle! Sam trying to make a move on the teachers, but once again he's in the moat. This course is huge, and so are the splats. Back to Kyle, who seems to be struggling on the lily pads. That one went down under. <laughs> I like that Crop one. gets Thorn's joke and then gets Kyle for good measure. Oh, Bolter, the defenders are really pinning Kyle down. Shower, shower, shower. Da -da -da. Tinker's learnt the word shower. Now he just needs to take one. The defender's still ganging up on Kyle and he's back in the moat. Michaela, Sam and Madison are still on and off the teeters. Bad luck, Michaela. Hey, you with the blue helmet! Hey, blue helmet! They ignore him, Kyle. Why don't they listen to me? It's disrespectful. No, Gildar, it's called focusing, and Kyle is on the platform. Now what's Kook up to? Well, he's splashing Madison, but shouldn't he be after Kyle? Thorn's seen the danger and tries to vaporise Kyle. He's in there somewhere. Tinkor joins in with a bucket of slime. Kyle must be wondering if this is all worth it. He's taking splat after splat. Sam tries to sprint across the teacher, <laughs> but no. <laughs> yes. Tinkor is using every slime trick in the book to stop Kyle, and he's even got some leftover for Sam. Now, with Kyle pinned down, the other attackers could catch up, but no, Michaela can't make it. Sammy's over, though. Kyle still isn't up. And now Sammy's over and onto the pads. And Sammy's now getting some of Kyle's medicine. Yes, Sam now realising life's not all that sweet on their lily pads. This is an all-out onslaught from the defenders. Thorn is vaporising like the kingdom depended on it. It does. Sam's back in the mode, but so is Kyle. This is too tense. They are both now neck and neck. Oh, we got a right in our hand. We certainly have Kyle and Sam. Who will make the decisive move? Kyle leaps to the right, but that just means he's nearer to Thorn, who vaporizes him yet again. Sam also leaps to the right. They're both heading for the same platform. It's too close to call. They're both now at the water wall. And I need to suck on a lozenge. Madison and Michaela are still struggling on the teachers. They're both down again. Back to the wall, and they're both climbing. Unbelievable! Sam has a slight lead. Can Kyle close the gap? No, he can't. Sam is up and over, and he has his hands on the crown. He's the new king of Splatterlot. The defenders tried everything, but it's a stunning victory! Oh, have you recovered yet? No. That has to be the greatest final ever. Kyle won the first two rounds and was ahead for most of the final. How must he be feeling? Still not recovered. But you can't take anything away from Sam. What a battler. What a champion. Here's Splat of the Day. Today's Splat Light came when Connor met Gildar. The slippery slope, the vain Viking and the moat combined majestically to produce this Splat. But Connor went one better on the battle axes. Top Splatting Connor. Yes, as always, the splats came thick and fast. But today's final truly revealed that splat a lot is more than just a splat fest. Here's Sam's story. Sam took some knocks in round one and two. And he spent way too long in the final teetering and tottering off those teeter totters. But he made it to the top and is our new king. Take it away, Sam. I'm the king of the castle. Oh, I still haven't recovered.